Hi guys and welcome to another Skyrim mod update video. Today we have two top three mod videos, one for Xbox and one for PlayStation 4, and today's video is covering archery mods. Every day will be something different, tomorrow though it will be a top 10 mod of the week for PlayStation 4, and then again on Sunday for Xbox One. So I'm still covering new mods, just in a different way, and during the week is going to be top threes. I was considering doing a single top five, but I decided two top three videos, one for each console, would probably be better. Anyway, so let's look at the top three archery mods for the game. Remember, there are way more than three that should be in the top three, but there are other archery themed videos to cover. So all the mods, all the popular mods anyway, will get covered at some point. This is the PS4 video. Check out the Xbox One if you want, but most of those mods are not available on PS4. In at number three is the Aureal's Weaponry, the Holy Bow, Shield and Sword. This mod alters Ariel's bow in game and gives this awesome bow the power it deserves, plus the mod does a bit more, but Ariel's bow is one of the best vanilla bows in game in the way it looks. It should be more powerful though to match the lore. And here is what the mod will actually change. Ariel's bow damage increased from 13 to 20, its enchantment lasts 7 times longer now. Overhaul of Ariel's bow enchantment, Daedra also suffer additional sun damage and the fall of the undead causes a divine Aedric explosion. Conversely, the use of blood cursed elven arrows can defile this enchantment and turn sun damage into vampiric damage with spectacular visual effects, especially if the player happens to be a vampire. Blood cursed elven arrows drain enemy health. Adds three craftable versions of Ariel's bow, a replica that can be enchanted as you see fit, and an authentic artifact which can receive Ariel's Dawn enchantment, or not, it's the player's choice. Adds a craftable replica of Ariel's bow which can be enchanted as you see fit. Rebuilding system for the bone sword, earn merit from Ariel to earn the privilege of restoring their past glory. In addition to being forgeable, Ariel's bow can be destroyed in order to recover its enchantment, Ariel's Dawn. The effect of sun damage are affiliated with the restoration school which, which allows the player, skilled at this magic, to enjoy the mana economy bonus which he uses a weapon blessed with Ariel's Dawn. The effects of sun damage also enjoy a shader for enchantment weapon, the same as fire damage. Sets correct keyword for Ariel's weaponry as well. The sun hollow and blood cursed elven arrows see their range and speed multiply by 1.5. Adds an ability to forge sun hollowed and blood cursed elven arrows. Adds a book and four new loading screens that are Aureal weaponry lore friendly, and reinforces the Aureal solar flare as well. So a lot of cool things there, all related to Aureal's bow. Some things you need to know, the Xbox One version of this mod will replace Aureal's bow to a new texture, but of course this is PS4 so it just stays the same vanilla bow. And all this stuff can be craftable, but you must first in order to get that, finish the Dawnguard questline. So if you haven't done that, all this stuff won't show up in the forge until you have. But it's definitely a cool archery mod worth downloading. Number 2, Riot Control Combat Archery Mod. This mod adds into Skyrim new bows and crossbows. Essentially, the Riot Control stuff is designed to shoot faster, but be non-lethal, or at least not straight away. Of course, you can shoot people with multiple arrows so that it will become lethal. Adds craftable anti-riot crossbow and its bolts to the game. The anti-riot crossbow will reload twice as fast, but does twice as less damage than a normal one. The weak anti-riot bolt can be crafted for it as well, and it's 30 bolts per firewood. The crossbow is under the steel, and the bolts are under the dwarven sections at the forge. Adds a craftable anti-riot bow and wooden arrows to the game. The anti-riot bow will reload faster, but again will do half the damage of a daedric bow, and that can be crafted under the iron and tempered as well. Finally, it's added a power to the game, which can fortify the archery skill by 20, which will be indefinite until you sneak. If you do sneak, you must wait 24 hours to cast the power spell again, giving balance to the spell and making the word combat archer meaningful. So if you're looking for some more crowd control bows and crossbows in Skyrim then definitely check out this mod. Our number one mod is the Fenderic's Arcane Archery mod. The mod adds 72 new elemental arrows and bolts that will do elemental damage to enemies in game at the same time as regular damage. The mod adds 72 new enchanted magical arrow and bolts to the game and those are split up into 12 new arrow types and three variations of each which are normal, empowered and legendary. Found in vendors, NPC inventories, steelsmithing, cheat chests across the game, so the leveled list, meaning these arrows can be bought from vendors, looted from enemies, and crafted at the forge. In addition, there's a cheat chest in Founders Room in Dragon's Reach containing 20,000 of each arrow. However, if you want to, you can craft all these arrows at the forge. The normal arrows and bolts require firewood and steel ingots. Empowered are three times normal arrow. Legendary require three times the empowered arrow. To craft these arrows and bolts, a steelsmithing perk is required for all of them. Now the new types of arrow and bolt that you get are the fire, which causes a fiery explosion, frost causes an icy explosion and slows targets, lightning causes a shock explosion damaging health and magicka, fire causes targets to be struck with fear, paralysis causes targets to be paralyzed, 
And I think the good thing about all of these is that they are area effects, so you don't have to hit an actual target for them to work. You can simply shoot the ground in front of them and you can paralyze multiple targets at the same time. Frenzy Arrow causes target to enter a state of frenzy. Earth causes targets to be shaken on impact, damages health and stamina. Darkness causes an explosion of darkness to damage targets and weaken their fire resistance. Poison causes targets to be afflicted with a long lasting poison. Skeletal causes an immense damage but summons skeletons that attack the archer and by skeletons it means Draugr. Water causes an explosion of water to damage targets and weaken their shock lightning resistance. And finally wind causes targets to stagger and be knocked back. This mod will increase the difficulty of the game due to NPCs being allowed to use these new magical arrows. For example, a high level bandit archer could shoot a legendary fire arrow at you and your companion and heavily damage both of you through an explosion of scorch and fire. And that's probably one of the best parts of this mod, it makes human enemies in Skyrim far more dangerous, so you have to be much more careful now with the mod installed. Overall, definitely number one PS4 archery related mod, it's just so much fun to use and like all Fenderic's mods, it's very well made. Well that is about it for this video, the top 3 archery mods for PS4. If you found this video useful don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'll be back again tomorrow with a top 10 brand new mods for PlayStation 4 Xbox One. I haven't decided on which order I'm going to do that. But either way, I will see you all next time.